This is Netta. Her full-time job is putting pictures of food on Instagram. She's an influencer that's used her talent to gain nearly half a million followers. She also consults with restaurants on how to stand out on social media. I got into starting my Instagram account while I was actually in law school. I was always a foodie and this was about like four years ago. Everyone had like some kind of Instagram they were starting up. Let's start with the potty melt. We're trying to get people hungry, so I just want them to see like things sizzling. And... Okay, go. As much cheese as you can, like the more cheese the better. Bring the dog closer, yeah. Yeah, so much cheese. I once went to a pizza place. We were like, okay, what can we do to set this place apart? And Hot Cheetos was just starting to become trendy. I'm like, why don't we just dump a bunch of Hot Cheetos onto the pizza? We did that and made a video about it, and there was literally a line around the block the next day. It's something that simple that could really make a food go viral. It really needs to be something that sets you apart from other places. It's not just taste-wise, like it actually visually has to look different. Celebrities can make hundreds of thousands of dollars for sponsored posts. But micro-influencers, smaller accounts with loyal followings, can also bring home a decent chunk of change. According to Captivate, an influencer analytics platform, micro-influencers can make up to $5,000 for a post sponsored by a company or brand. And that doesn't even include other services like consulting on menu development or running social media accounts. It's time to take pictures now. It's easier to kind of get like everything in the shot if I'm holding it because I could kind of angle it properly. I like to make the picture look cool by getting something from like the restaurant's background in it. So since we're shooting a bacon wrapped hot dog, there's a bacon wrapped hot dog sign right here. So I'll probably take like 150 shots of like the exact same item from different angles um, with different backgrounds. So we're just gonna walk over to the streets I wanna get a little bit of like the palm trees in the background, just to make like the, the picture look a little bit cooler. Basically, this is my life. I'm always holding up like a piece of food like this. Perfect, cool, got the shot. Neda always has been in charge of all our social media and all, that, all those things. I see a, a huge percentage of customers always telling us, Oh, well, we saw you on Facebook, or we saw you on Instagram, or this or that, and it demonstrates to me that social media plays a very, very huge factor on where people decide where to eat. Neda really pointed out that for Instagram-friendly ice creams, it needs to be frozen for a long time, and it needs to be high. The toppings need to be presented well. It shouldn't cover the entire ice cream. And definitely, we took that advice, and our Instagram pictures of our ice creams are way better. Yeah. Influencers are even affecting the design of restaurants themselves. Many are adding elements like photo-friendly lighting and dynamic backgrounds. But the Federal Trade Commission has recently begun to crack down on undisclosed partnerships on social media. In September 2017, they sent warning letters to a variety of influencers stating that posts without clear and conspicuous disclosure is a breach of federal guidelines. So using hashtags like hashtag spawn or hashtag paid isn't all that's required now. Tastes like what a unicorn would taste like. <laughs> Is that any good? It's different. <laughs> the one thing that people ask me all the time is, do you like everything that you post? And to be honest, I don't. You know, it's all fair game. Go try it out for yourself and see if you like it. To watch more videos about viral food, click here. Everyone thinks they like know someone who knows how to do social. You don't, right? It's really a full-time job and it's becoming clear to restaurants that your manager can't run it anymore. You can't hand it. <laughs>